What's up everybody, it's your girl Nia the Video Gamer and I wanted to come on really quickly and talk about my 2014 in retrospect. And I know I'm super late because 2015 is like tomorrow, but I decided to go ahead and make this video and I'm actually going to do a video response to my girl Erica, aka Air Cuts for the Win. Her YouTube channel will be in the description. And she was basically saying how 2014 has been pretty sucky. And you know, she's tried her best to be as positive as possible, but there have been so many crappy things that happened this year that it's kind of hard to pick out the good things. You kind of have to think really, really hard and cherry pick the positive things that happened in 2014. Basically, in my response to her, I just want to say that, yeah, I don't deny the fact that 2014 has been kind of poopy, but in my opinion, I've had a really good 2014 with video games. and. I don't say that, you know, the bad things have happened, they're good, but the fact that some of the bad things that have happened have kind of caused me to delve into different types of genres and play different games that I probably wouldn't have played before. Because, you know, this year there's been a lot of broken games that have released, there's been a lot of games that released and just flat out didn't work, and there have been games that have been delayed to all hell, and there's been a lot of large game droughts or intervals where there weren't really any interesting games to come out for that time and one of the things that I can for sure say about 2014 is that I've played some games that I would have slept on normally if there were any like huge heavy hitting games coming out like all over the place and they have become some of my favorite gaming experiences now I'm gonna go ahead and give a couple examples like I've played Guacamelee, which is an interesting game, really great game. I played games like Bit Trip Presents Runner 2. I played games like Armillo. I played games like The Swapper. I played some really interesting concepts this year, and the one that stands out to me the most would have to be The Fall. And The Fall is probably, you know what, it is my official game of the year 2014. I know a lot of people don't really know what The Fall is. But The Fall is an indie game made by Over the Moon Games, and it's really story heavy. It has a really intense narrative behind it, and if it wasn't for this game, I probably wouldn't have any interest at all in that particular genre. Now, don't get me wrong, I am like the OCD, ADD person in the whole wide world. But this one managed to keep my attention because as I told y'all many times before, puzzlers are my favorite genre of game. And there were a lot of puzzles in the fall and there were a lot of action sequences in the game as well, even though the overall tone was to figure out what was going on with your character and what was going on in the midst of all of that. I don't want to spoil it. But basically, to make a long story short, and to kind of keep it spoiler free, because I do want you guys to check it out. It is on Steam and it is on the Wii U eShop. It is a game about AI upon a combat suit. And the AI is making really tough decisions that kind of makes her question protocol. It's really interesting because her character development is just so crazy throughout the whole game. And there's a lot of twists and turns and you actually feel that you are Arid, which is the character's name, and it's just, it was really dope. I don't want to spoil it, so I'm not going to go too much into detail, but that game is crazy. I can't really complain. You know, I've had a good year, and not to sound like a fangirl or anything, but I've been playing a lot of Nintendo this year, and Nintendo has been really good with their game releases this year. There were a couple of hiccups with Smash Brothers, but... It wasn't anything too crazy. It wasn't anything that wasn't resolvable. You know, I know that whenever Smash Bros. came out, there was like a stability update for the online or something like that. It wasn't really a big deal. So that's pretty much my 2014 in review. Let me know what you guys' 2014 was like and let me know what you're looking forward to in 2015. 2015 is gonna be bananas. Like everybody 
is bringing their A game in 2015. Like I was largely uninterested in the PlayStation 4 in 2014, but in 2015, I'm sure that will change. As far as Microsoft is concerned, I do still want an Xbox. You know, I do. I am interested in some of the games that are um, already out for the Xbox. But as far as their 2015, I'm not really sure. Microsoft has been eerily quiet, so hopefully they start showing some more of what their 2015 is gonna look like. So that's pretty much all for this video, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.